go cook. Take your microplane and just grind it pony style. Now I did four garlic cloves on the microplane for this aioli. I used to use Kewpie mayonnaise all the time, but I found Duke's mayonnaise and it's lovely. So I just throw a good smackaroo in there, like two little full spoonies. And then I take all the garlic and I'll stick a lemon. I use one of these little, little jobbers to catch the seeds. You don't have to, if you're a real chef, you know what to do. Okay, now we've got a lemon, we've got a garlic. Give that a little swizzle. Also gonna throw a bit of uh, Japanese barbecue sauce up in there. Just a little squeege. That's a squeege. We're also gonna put a little olive oil in. Hit it with a pinch of salt. Pepper. I say like 12 cranks, but I love pepper, so. Cover it up, throw it in the fridge for 20 minutes. Brussels sprouts. Ew, Brussels sprouts, disgusting. No, Brussels sprouts are delicious on the griddle. Now I just take my Brussels sprouts, I just have them. Now for Brussels sprouts, I really do love just salt and pepper with oil. But for this recipe to match up the flavor of the garlic aioli with the Japanese barbecue sauce, we are going to do momofuku savory blend. Hey, I'm savory supercharged salt and pepper. Try me on meats and veg. Ha <laughs> ha. Act the dad oil. Just give that a good sprinkle around. We're just gonna, just gonna shake them. Boom. We've got our Faroe Island salmon. Beautiful color, technically kind of a farm-raised fish, but done sustainably, whatever that means. Anyways, it's delicious. It's got a beautiful color. I love eating it. It's got a great fattiness to it. I'm just gonna hit it with a little Aquedad oil. Hit it with, since we're doing a garlic aioli, With the Japanese barbecue sauce, I'm just gonna hit it with a lot of fresh cracked pepper and salt. This Sony 90 millimeter macro lens is just gorgeous. If you're looking at doing food videography or photography and you don't have this Sony 90 mil, whew, let's go to macro. Oh my, that's awesome. Now the bacon's gonna be cooked up crispy, chopped up, and now we'll go over our aioli and tomato. Okay, now we're gonna take our Brussels. Now I like to start my Brussels cut side down and just let them cook and crisp up and color up. Let all that oil and seasoning cook into the Brussels because once you get that color on them, they are so delicious. Now, if you're one of those people that's like, I don't like salmon. Well, my advice to you is that you try salmon cooked by someone who knows how to cook it. Don't go to a chain restaurant that's gonna take a crappy piece of salmon that they paid a tiny amount for, and they're gonna overcook it till it's well done. Salmon should not be cooked past medium. Medium rare is where I like to cook mine, but I understand people are a little fearful of medium rare of anything. So, cook your salmon medium rare, give it a try, and buy good salmon. Don't buy frozen salmon, buy fresh. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about with Brussels sprouts. Look at how beautiful. That baby looks nice and seared. You're getting that char in there. All that flavor is cooking in. Ooh, this bacon looks like it needs flipped. I think this salmon's ready to be flipped. See how that salmon kind of curved up as soon as we flip it? You can score the outside of the skin with your knife, and that'll probably stop that from doing that, but I don't really care. This salmon's ready. 